Hygiene for Yid Life Crisis provided by Hir Eliyahu. Keep the schmutz away. And there we were on the e-plane, and after four hours of musical chairs with Hasids, we took off and hit the unfriendly skies of El Al through the internet. Five e-cigarettes, one eat fill and wrap, and ten micro-arguments later, we had arrived at our destination and immediately kissed the land we'd arrived on. From there, it was off to Ir HaKodesh, Jerusalem, en route to the Eitanim project. We couldn't wait to get to the old city to visit the world's holiest sites, the Kotel, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and the most famous and brilliant dome of Yerushalayim, Lior Raz. Hi, Lior. Hi, guys. What's up? Actually, before we start, can we do this interview in Hebrew? No, I don't think okay. you're good enough in Hebrew. You are a Jewish icon. You are one of our heroes. We wanted to share with you that most Canadian Jews will tell you that the holiest place for us in the world is, of course, Marzipan Bakery at the Shuk in Jerusalem. We're wondering, what's yours? You know, in Israel, everybody said that he knows the best hummus, you know? But I know where is the best hummus, and it's in Jaffa, and we call it Abu Hassan. One, it's the best, just like, it's like a gourmet food for me. What do you really think of Canada? And it's okay, you're Israeli, don't hold back. You don't have to be polite like us. So first of all, uh, I love Canada. I'm sorry. I love, I love, I love, I love Montreal. Uh, when I when I was there, I felt at home immediately. The people, the warm hospitality. When you visited Montreal, was it in the winter? And if so, would you say that that was harder or not as hard as Tzahal basic training? It's much harder than everything that I did in the army. Just to go, you know. <laughs> I don't know how you live. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared, you know, I was, I was immediately, I had like a shock when you dive like to a freezing water, it was the same. And my lungs couldn't breathe, you know, I was terrified. That's what terrifies Leo Raz, ladies and gentlemen, freaking Canada's winter. If we had to do Tsaha service, I know you don't know us that well, but where do you think we would be placed within Tsaha? Uh, you probably would be in the Rabbanut. It's, uh, it's just to be a rabbi in the, in the army. And yeah, I'm sorry, it's funny. And no, you, fair point. Probably it's, yeah, go to computers. I think computers will, will suit you. Where did you pick up your Arabic? And can you teach us some pickup lines so we can expand our dating pool? I picked up my Arabic when I was in the army. And uh, my father is uh, Iraqi and my mom, she's Algerian. So just say it's something very simple. Kif halek habibti. Kif halek habibti. Kif halek habibti. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? What are, what did we say? I don't want to tell you what. No, I'm just kidding. You just said, <laughs> you just said uh, how are you, my love? For... My audience in Canada, listen, guys, I love you and thank you for your support. I really miss Canada. I really miss Canada. I want to come back. So, yeah, definitely. I love you. I miss you. And thank you for your support. Yid Life Crisis is youthful vitality brought to you by Vayikra. Get that bar mitzvah boy feeling again. So there we were on the road again, this time heading north to the Galilee towards the Migal Research Center. But we would be taken off course by a call of nature. Oh no, the marzipan rugelach. I need a bathroom, quick. Pull over at that church. Really? Now? I'm gonna shtisel in the monique. Ah, fowder. Hello, I'm Father Mockery, and you've arrived at the Nazareth Church of Scotland. Oh, the Stotlands? Perfect, we know the Stotlands. What brings you to my parish? Oh. The, the barishes? We know the barishes, too. Perfect. Okay, great. I can't believe this. This guy speaks Yiddish. Was macht der Landsmann, nu? Reb Mochri, darf pischen und kacken und nutzen de Waschzimmer. Bet euch! Oh. From the sounds of you, I gather you'll be needing a water closet for your personal hygiene. Yo, 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 Bemis. You've come to the right place. It's just doing the digital hole. But you'll have to do one thing first. Whatever. Conversion is definitely on the table at this point. Uh, no, no, no. We ask all of our guest bathroom users to make a donation to the JNF. The Jewish National Fund? You support the Jew? What, they have something on you too? No. 
The programs are accessed by people of all faiths and backgrounds in Israel. It's a good cause. It's a bloody mitzvah, for Christ's sake. Or anybody else's sake, for that matter. There's a great point. Okay, I'll, I'll make a, a, an e-pledge of a uh, hundred e-shekels. Oh, and they say the Scottish are cheap. Okay, Father, a uh, hundred and fifty e-shekels. Oh, can't you even give me high? <sighs> okay, Father, a hundred and eighty e-shekels, please. Yeah, uh, that's more like it. <sighs> oh. We thank you, Father. Toda Raba. Oh, no worries. Just be quick with the loo. I got three wise men coming in five minutes. What? Are you... Are you saying that three wise prophets are about to come for the birth of the Savior? No, no, the wise men's. Mary, Esther, and Yanko. I'm giving them a tour. Fundraising, eh? Oi. <laughs> Oi. Hi. How's that? Wonderful. Just the right amount of phlegm. 